Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Windows Server Core 2022 Tips and Tricks. Today well, I wanted to touch on the subject of snapshots or checkpoints. That's how they how they are called in Hyper-V. So as you can see, I have one machine here that is running. Uh, test machine. So uh, if we go to the settings of this machine we can find our checkpoints here and uh, on default uh, every virtual machine that you actually create in Hyper-V has always this option enabled so enabled checkpoints and it all always has production checkpoints and it also always has this box create standard checkpoints enabled so, what's the difference between production checkpoints with standard checkpoints and without this option? So, if I would unclick this option, apply the changes, then if I make a snapshot, the snapshot is gonna be always uh, when you take the snapshot, the virtual machine is gonna be always turned off. If I check this box and I'm gonna do the snapshots of the virtual machine. So if we of course check this box and we're gonna use the uh, standard checkpoints, the, the virtual machine is gonna be always uh, reverted to the point when it was when the snapshot was taken. So the machine is not gonna be turned off, it's gonna be turned on and it's gonna be exactly in the same place we left it when we were doing the check uh, the checkpoint of the snapshot so that's the difference uh, with using this uh, option and without using this option okay so if i would disable this option let's do it like that i have here a little bit of help that i prepared well let's uh, maybe first of all let's go to settings and I'm gonna go to checkpoints, I'm gonna click it once again and now I'm gonna show how to disable it from PowerShell so if you want to disable this and you don't want to use the option now if we go here to the settings this option should be disabled so it's disabled and we are only using the production checkpoints right now snapshot so I have actually enabled the option because I'm gonna be using it so I enabled the option for standard snapshots and I'm gonna use this command to create a checkpoint or a snapshot, whichever you wish. So here's our checkpoint. Maybe I will just go here for a moment. it and now we can actually can get the snapshots of course from here so as you can see checkpoint standard checkpoint when it was created now we're gonna create another checkpoint Okay, and now we would like to restore the checkpoint. So we're gonna restore to checkpoint one. 
So as you can see, this is my checkpoint two. A different option, checkpoint one was in a different state. So how do we store the checkpoint? We're gonna use this. Okay, so we're gonna use restore FDM snapshot, VMware specifying the name of course, and the snapshot snapshot in a checkpoint. And now if we click on now, there we go, let's open and now we are back to the uh, state that it was before. So it basically was in the previous state that I left it, in this one. Okay, so that's how you make snapshots, this is how you revert the snapshots of course, and now how do we remove the snapshots? So if you want to remove a specific snapshot, of course, my case is gonna be checkpoint two. Let's say I want to remove this snapshot. This is the command you need to use for this. So now we got only one checkpoint. If you want to remove all the checkpoints or all the snapshots from the subtree, you're gonna use the variable include all child snapshots and all of them are removed so you're removing everything this time okay so if you want to of course set the standard option of snapshots so uh, the one that we are talking about here checkpoints right this option I'm gonna unclick it right now apply okay Let's say you want to use this option, so to turn it on, because previously we were turn it, turning it off, you need to use, of course, this. And right now, if we go to settings, go to checkpoints, and we got standard checkpoints here. So previously we had this, now we have standard uh, checkpoints. And of course, if, of course, if you would like to disable the checkpoints, you can basically use this line. So set the end checkpoint type disabled, right? And now if we go here, let's go check settings. And go to snapshots and everything is disabled okay so I think this is all if it goes to snapshots it's pretty easy so as always if you want to do it manually with this GUISH additions to Windows Server Core you can do it manually it's no problem or you can do it through PowerShell like I showed just now so as always like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video